to the Unfamous Fly again. Uh, another two minute tip while I'm here on the, uh, the banks of the River Clyde, having a wee warm up. Um, this one is a wee bit difficult to sort of show uh, while I'm uh, fishing here, but I hope you get the idea. And the idea of this one is to do with when you're tying your tippet on. So normally you, um, you have your indicator which uh, I've got here and then you take your first section of the tippet which is normally normally about the depth that you're going to be wading to the to the first fly. So I normally what I do is uh, I stand on my indicator and uh, the I'm going to have my first dropper round about waist height because that's about as deep as I'll ever wade which is uh, waist deep and then your next fly is uh, somewhere between 12 inches and 2 feet below that uh, and if you're going to have 3 flies then another 12 feet, 12 inches to, three, to, to 2 feet uh, you know the, the distances is one of these things you can vary uh, tw 12 inches I would say is about as close as you'd ever want them 18 is probably about right and 2 feet uh, that's up to yourself uh, however, what most people do is they tend to get their first bit lead tip it and then they'll tie a second bit on to form a dropper using a three turn water knot. Well, a better way of doing it, in my opinion, is just to use a straight through piece of nylon. So you get your bit of nylon, tie it onto your indicator, work out where your, your first dropper is going to be and then keep going with that same bit of nylon until you've got the full length cut that off, tie it on, so now you've got, uh, let, let's say, say, say this bit here is about three and a half feet, so now you've got three and a half feet plus 18 inches, so uh, uh, that's uh, four, five feet, something like five feet, um, and then get a short bit of tippet, and it doesn't have to be the same thickness, generally speaking, it either be the same or maybe one gauge thinner, so if you're using the sort of American system and using something like uh, 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 6x which is about three pound 5x 6x for your main line you can maybe go and use uh, 7x or uh, two and a half pound something like that or or you could use four pound for your entire uh, pit and use three pound for your droppers which gives a, a slightly better more delicate presentation on the droppers um, but you just tie that on to the main line with a three turn water knot, exactly the same way as you would just join two pieces of nylon together, but this time it's a dropper that's going to be the the, the tied on bit. And uh, it means that your your main line is continuous, it's not got any breaks in it. And it should, in my opinion, make it stronger. It also means that you can have finer droppers. And if you want, if your dropper gets gets snagged or something, at least when that breaks off you don't break off your main line. And it's possible it's up to you whether you want to do it or not, but it's possible to tie on a new dropper onto your line. Now, I'll admit, the one downside to it all is that when you've got multiple flies further down the line, if you've got one or even two further down, when you can't tie a, if you're going to tie a dropper on with a fly on, you're going to have to pass that fly through the loop of the three-turn water knot. But, um, generally speaking, if I'm changing one fly, I often change two. But this method is equally valid for um, lock style fishing if you're just uh, you know if you're if you're fishing say a 14 foot uh, 14 foot tip, uh, leader uh, you can just use a single piece of fluorocarbon or whatever it is you're using nylon and tie your tie your droppers to the main line so you've got a continuous piece of nylon anyway that's today's two minute tip I hope you enjoyed that I hope you found it useful uh, if you like these wee tips um, let me know, comment below in, on uh, YouTube, um, I would appreciate if you would uh, like or subscribe to my channel and uh, if, if you find these useful I'll keep uh, publishing them. So thanks for watching the Unfamous Fly.